Hi everybody, it's Sasha again. Um, I was gonna do another knitting video, but today I felt like spinning, so that's what I'm doing. Sitting out on my back deck with the Luet S17. It's my newest wheel and currently my favorite. Don't mind the mess in the background. I've been repotting plants. You can see my Christmas cactus over there in its new pot. It's an exciting day. Usually I'm a plant killer, but somehow I've kept that one alive for like two years. It's amazing. Anyway, the fiber. Yes, that's what we're here to talk about. So, um... I'm actually not sure what this fiber is. It was a gift to me when I first started spinning. I ordered a bunch of mill ends um, and the woman who sold them to us knew that I was a beginning spinner so she gave me some nice stuff to try and I didn't feel like I was good enough to try it and in retrospect that's a terrible thing to think and to um, say and you know, I might have had an easier time getting started spinning if I had used the nicely prepped stuff first. So don't be like me. Use your good stuff. Enjoy it. But the other day I was going through my fiber stash and looking for actually something different and found this and went, oh, well, maybe I'll just spin that up. So I'm spinning it kind of fine. Um, I wanted to see how finely I could easily spin on this wheel because my first bobbin was much thicker than usual, but I had a lot of trouble um, getting the take up adjusted at first, so that contributed. And I am pleased to discover that I can spin about as fine as I want. Not using any special drafting technique. This is kind of my default. It's a lazy cross of, you know, short forward draw and then just letting the twist travel instead of sliding my hand back. So, that's what we're doing today. I don't know how well you can see in the video, but my husband and I actually decorated this wheel because the S17 comes unfinished as compared to some of Louette's other wheels. It requires a little bit more assembly and obviously you do need to do something to protect the wood, but that means that it's the perfect opportunity to do some custom decorating. So we used a wood burner on the front and paint on the back. Obviously you can only see the front right now. Um, so down this front support I have like a little mini ruler you can use to measure your twist per inch, which is especially nice when you're plying. And um, I also have like a protractor type thing. Camera's shaking around, I'm sorry. So that you can measure your angle of twist. I don't use those tools much right now, but it's one of those things that I feel like I should be doing, feel like I should be better at knowing how to apply those concepts. So anyway, and then around the drive wheel, which you can't see right now because it's moving, I put the parts of the spinning wheel. We were going to do some kind of poem. I wanted to do something in German. And then we decided that was just going to be too much to try to get it stenciled on there neatly. So we just went with the parts. It's, it's simple. Camera is just not holding still. Oh well. So. If I had to guess, I would guess that this um, this top that I'm spinning is just wool. It kind of looked like the bag that it was in was labeled that it was superwash wool, but the bags that I got um, my fiber in from that order had all kinds of different labels on them. They were clearly recycling, which is excellent, but it means that I don't really know what I have. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh well. Five minutes are just about up, so I will see you guys later with whatever I'm working on 
on another day.